Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video. In this video, I'll essentially show you a nice hands-on demo. I'll leave the code as well, but how to identify a source schema change in Apache Hoodie data lakes. Yes, that's right. How do I identify? Which means uh, what I'm gonna do for the demo is first I'll create an Apache Hoodie data lake. I'll insert few records. Then I'm gonna add a new column. And now we want to see how we can identify these schema changes, right? So, and after identifying these schema changes, how can we send alert to managers, directors, data engineers, lead that, hey, schema has changed, um, right? So that is what we are uh, going to learn in this video. So let's basically get started. So um, again, I am on my uh, S3. I'll essentially flush everything here before uh, for the demo. Okay, just deleting everything, uh, making sure I don't have anything on the glue. That's great. So what I'm gonna do is basically I have a glue notebook and I am essentially gonna insert record number one and two onto the data lake, right? Simple scenario, right? So I'm essentially inserting this into a hoodie data lake, right? So here you can see I'm using the connector. Uh, I can actually show you uh, over here, hoodie connector, right? And I have all these micro labs. You can take a look at it if you want. Okay, so again, the record has been inserted. Now, if I go to the S3, again, uh, Hodi made its metadata into the temp folder, right? That's great. So uh, now if I go to Athena, I can run ad hoc queries here. That's great as well, fantastic, right? So here you have the two records, right? Now, if you go to Glue Console and if you refresh, you should see a database called HodiDB. Inside that, you will see a table called Hodi Table. Now, what I wanna see is now I'm gonna add a new column and uh, let's see how we can identify this change and send an email alert. So before that, what I'll do is I have a Python code. Um, again, what I have done is basically, uh, I have taken the code from um, this a AWS blog post and I have essentially modified it a bit, made it into an object oriented code. Again, if you if you want, you can come and take a look at this one, okay? So let me show you a demo, right? Uh, um, so now I have this class, you know, where I gave it the database name, the table name, the catalog is basically the account ID, access secret key and the region. So I'm gonna run this and I should see everything okay for now. So here you can see all okay, which means at this point, the schema is okay. There's no change in schema, okay? Now let me uh, introduce a twist here. So I'm gonna go here. So now here, I'm adding a new column here. Observe, I'm adding a new column called new call, right? Uh, I'm gonna add and then basically we're gonna see how we can identify these changes and send alert later on, right? or you can add that uh, module in this code as well. So again, we insert this into the data lake, right? Which means a new column has been added, right? So we'll wait for this to complete. So this is complete, right? So now if I go to Athena, remember before I had two records, I don't have a, a column called new call. So I'm gonna again click on preview table and now I should be seeing a new call, right? This is an added, right? So why we want to identify this? Because there might be a lot of processes might be running on the hoodie data lake, which might be reading incremental data. And anytime there is new columns added, you may want to identify and send a lot, maybe based on your business use cases, right? So now we do see that there's a new column. So now if I run this code again, the same Python code that I had, right? Um, again, now what I should see is an alert and I should see an email coming in shortly. So if I see, there you go, alert. Now let's go to my Gmail and there you can see an alert and observe carefully here it says clearly, you know, following changes are identified in the hoodie table. It gives you the table name, uh, the database name, right? Um, um, basically I added a new column called new call, right? And data type is string. So basically it did identify that there was a new column added. This also works with a change in data types. Of course, Hoodie supports schema evolution, right? But if your business use case uh, requires you to have um, uh, schema changes to be identified and you wanna alert a business stakeholder, I think this is a very great way to do that. Now, just a small, uh, if you're gonna use the code from AWS blog post, I have essentially changed a little bit and I do wanna make sure I tell you the change. So of course I made it into an object oriented and then here I have added zero, one, two. So basically I'm comparing, um, you know, I'm taking three versions and I'm gonna compare them, right? So 
how we how this works is basically anytime there's a schema change in glue um, table if you observe here you will see all these versions if you click on version 0 i did not have a column called new call right now if you compare the latest version version 3 you have a new call right so basically you can compare uh, th the version and identify what was added what was removed uh, essentially and send email alerts Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll leave the Python code in the description section below along with all the resources. If you have any more question, list your question. And with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. I will see you in the upcoming next video.